when I was 13. Um, I got caught up with the wrong crowd. I was living in Portland, Oregon with my parents. We grew up in a Christian home. I started stealing cars and uh, selling them. I started breaking into homes. And um, eventually that got me in trouble. And at 15, I went to jail for a year and a half. When I got out, my parents were living in Hawaii, so they flew me straight to Hawaii. And um, I spent another year and a half out, confused, just got out of jail, trying to catch up with life. And uh, about a year and a half in, I got in trouble again. I started doing cocaine and um, committed some more crimes and went on the run. And uh, spent a year running around the United States trying to evade the police. And uh, of course, my parents just destroying the family. My mom was going through tough times, always calling me, telling me to turn myself in, to come home. But of course, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't ready to do that. And uh, I started doing drugs and started from coke again and it led to meth and heroin. And that kept going on for about a year. It was tough for my parents, tough for my mom, and um, just put them through a lot of pain and grief. And I didn't know where I was going. I was trying to fill a void, just going for the wrong things in life. And about a year in, I collapsed my lung smoking meth, and I spent three weeks on a machine breathing for me. And even at that time, in the hospital, the only thought that kept going through my head was, you know, uh, when are they gonna bring the medications? I would be angry and thinking, you know, when are they gonna let me out of here? I wasn't worried about my life at all. Uh, just confused, didn't know who I was as a person. Um, when I got out of the hospital, uh, I got onto uh, pills for medication on opiates, and those opiates turned into heroin after a few months. It just, the addiction came. And slowly I got back into meth and, and heroin and the cycle went back and forth. And uh, last year on Christmas, I was sleeping and uh, I was drunk. And my mom came into the room and I don't remember any of this. She came into the room and she started reading the Bible to me. And she told me that while she was reading, uh, I had said, stop reading that to him. And so she realized something was wrong, so she kept reading, and uh, uh, I manifested. And all I remember is waking up about two hours later, and I had four people on me. And my parents were there, and I was literally in the middle of yelling, yes, something wrong. And, uh, the next day when I woke up, it was, it was traumatizing, and realizing that there's something inside you. Was, I felt defiled, you know, and all day I couldn't say one word. I was just always tearing up every time I tried to talk to my parents about it. But before the end of the day, I came to a conclusion that if demons are real, then God must be too. And uh, that night, I was already worshiping God, you know. And uh, the process went on for a few days, you know, at my church, uh, trying to deliver me. And um, a few weeks later, I went to uh, the Race to Deliver conference. I got delivered. And when I was there, when I got into the line, at first everything was okay, I thought I was okay. But the closer he got, the more restless I got. Uh, my body would fidget and my mind would <laughs> would tell me, go smoke a cigarette, do anything to try to miss, miss this prayer line. But my mom was next to me and she, she supported me, she made me stay. And then uh, when he touched me, I, I don't exactly know what happened. It was just anger and, and rage and all the negative and evil thoughts that go through my mind all collided at once and there was no good thoughts. And then I was delivered and uh, it, was, uh, it was amazing. It was, uh, it was the presence of God that I've never felt. And he touched my life and for many months uh, since then I can feel him, you know, I have a connection with God and I have a support group at home and I go to church almost every day, every other day, and um, and I love him, and the Holy Spirit's there, and it's amazing. He changed my life, and my name is Dmitry Rosic, and this is my testimony. <laughs>